Our first guest tonight is that rare performer whose greatness has been certified by the Oscars, Tony, Salt, Peppa, and Vogue, you name it. You can see him now in theaters and on Apple TV Plus in The Tragedy of Macbeth, and he directs Michael B. Jordan in a journal for Jordan in theaters and on demand now. Please welcome Denzel Washington. <laughs> It's good to see you. Good to be seen by you. If you were not here right now, would you be watching the Cardinals Rams game? Would you be watching? Is it on? Has it started? Yeah, it's on. Sure. Yeah. Monday night. I guess not. <laughs> I was thinking about you yesterday because I know you're a Cowboys fan. Yes. And I was wondering, as the way that game ended, I was wondering what, like, what kind of a football viewer are you? Is there a profanity? Um, do you sit quietly and suffer? How does it go? When there was some like profanity. Yeah. Some profanity. There was. I've been a cowboy fan since I was about six. Wow, long time. Yeah, I'm a real cowboy fan, mm -hmm. and that was that was a mess yesterday. That was a mess. Yeah, that's tough, huh? Uh, yeah. Would you rather win an Oscar this year or a Super Bowl for the Cowboys? <laughs> A few years ago, I asked your son, John David, he was here. I don't know if you saw this, but I asked him because I know you played football and you coached him in football. Right. And I asked him what kind of a, in case you didn't see that, let's find out what John David said uh -oh. his dad was uh -oh. as far as coaching goes. <laughs> what about your dad? Was he ever your coach as a kid? Yeah, he was. He was. He was. And how did that go? Uh, you know, he's a great actor. <laughs> you know, he's a fantastic <laughs> entertainer. And as... Sorry, Dad. No, Dad, no, my dad was great. I mean, because he believed it. You know, he gets into character, so he was getting into character with us. Uh, as the coach. And uh, he was getting into those very long-winded speeches. <laughs> you know, we, you know, we literally, you know, we're, the head, the helm is bigger than the body, so we just yeah. down like this. We're just ready to go on the field. Like, just, where are the orange like, slices? <laughs> right, like, let's go. All right, all right, we get it. Fan scene, you know? So, <laughs> but... He didn't mention that they won the, whatever the local championship was. They were. They were he they didn't were, mention. No, that. he didn't mention that. He was being humble. I, was, I wasn't actually. Yeah. Coaching. <laughs> I was there. Yeah. Did you enjoy doing that, being coaching the kids, or was it like nobody else wants to coach? You have to go in and do it. I loved it. You I, loved it. I love it. I love because kids will go. They'll they'll, they'll go anywhere you. You send them, you know, they'll follow you and they, they'll believe, like he said, they'll believe. I haven't had that experience. Yeah. <laughs> I coached my son's basketball team. No one listened to me ever at all, not even a little bit. I had to pay him in Pokemon cards to get him <laughs> just to not, like, intentionally fall on the ground during the games. My, my daughter played basketball, too, Olivia, but she would play like her fingernails were wet. <laughs> <laughs> She just ran around like that the whole time. Like her fingernails were wet. She would just, nah, I don't want it to. And she, she wouldn't wear basketball sneakers. She said, I'm not wearing those. They don't look. So she was not destined for greatness on the court, she I guess. She was not destined for greatness. Someone I know who knows you also told me that you, lo you love watching high speed chases on television. Is that true? <laughs> you do, yeah. Who I love you that? it too. I love them, too. Well, you get hooked. You get hooked. You get hooked. You get hooked. Do you find yourself rooting for the guy to get away? <laughs> Sometimes I want to go down there. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, if I just get in my car and go, I could, I could end this. <laughs> they should have used the pick maneuver right there. You, you know? probably they could. the pick maneuver. And... See, it's, yeah, I mean, really, if, the, if Denzel Washington suddenly showed up, I would think the guy would probably go, stop? all right, I'm pulling over, yeah. <laughs> We had one right here by our theater uh, last week. Hey, do you have one in your head that's like your favorite? I think y you and I should go out and look. For one? <laughs> one or honestly, oh my. Just one day we didn't go out and do My favorite part of those high speed chases is listening to the local newscasters try to fill time and just saying things like, well, if I was in this situation, I was like, you're not gonna be in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's the best part of it. They don't know what to say. And, um, and of course, the drama, rarely do you see anything that might end 
in death, I guess, is really what I'm saying on television. You don't see that for real. I would like to get a set of those spike strips, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just to my own recreation. <laughs> <laughs> Paparazzi. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, that'd be good for the, you. yeah, you come out of a restaurant, no problem at all. Go to Spike Street. You have directed this film, A Journal for Jordan, right. which is based on a true story and a really like sad, emotional, touching, and all of those things, and sad story about um, a, a soldier. This is the first movie you've directed that you've not starred in as well. Is that because you figured one Sexiest Man Alive was enough for, for the film? And it would be too much for you and Michael B. Jordan? I, I didn't want to have to fire myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it just wasn't, there was nothing in it for me, you know? Is it a lot harder to uh, direct a movie that you're in? You know, Warren Beatty said to me years ago, just name dropping. Uh huh. It's a good one. <laughs> Feels pretty good, right? Yeah, but when you name drop, it's really <laughs> yeah, not yeah. like name Warren dropping. Warren Beatty said, because yeah. I didn't want to be in the first film I directed it. And he said, no, no, be in it. I said, why? He said, because it's a way in that you're used to. You oh. know, as an actor, you're used to, so be in it. And, and so I realized, I was like, okay, I'll just imagine I'm playing all the parts and, and that was the way I got into it. Wow. People have often called you, they say, uh, they would say, you're the next Sidney Poitier and then Michael B. Jordan is somebody. Okay. They would say, you are the next. Denzel Washington, and so now here you guys, which I don't know, seems a little weird. Do you like when people say that? Uh, beats a sharp stick and eye. Yeah, right, okay. You know. And It'd I know- be better than the next Willie Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> From around the corner, you Yeah, know. you don't want to be Willie. You don't want to be the next Willie Johnson. And I've been the last Willie Johnson. I've been the last Willie Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Sidney Poitier passed away uh, last week, obviously. What, when did you meet, what was the first time you met him? You remember? Ooh. I was doing, one time I remember, I was doing a play, a soldier's play, which went on to become a soldier story of the movie, and won the Pulitzer mm -hmm. Prize, all that kind of stuff. So uh, he came to see the play. And he came backstage and took pictures with all of us. And he, the, everybody was sort of thinning out. And he came over to me. He said, you know, you're good. You're very good. I was like, you know, what did he say? It was Sidney Poitier. Like, yes, sir, thank you. Did you know that he was there watching the play when you were no, doing it? No, I didn't know. Are you glad you didn't know? I'm glad I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's never good. It's never good. Never you good. Don't, you don't feel like you can dig even deeper and be better if you know somebody that you really care about their opinion is in the audience? No. No. <laughs> no, no it, takes you out of the, it takes you out of the, you know, out of the play. I got you. Well, that makes sense, yeah. And you guys became friends uh, over the years. Yes, we did, and, and, and I would just go over to his house and hang out and visit him and record him. I have all kinds of uh, 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 tapes of him just talking about stuff. Audio tapes? Uh, video as well. Video. Yeah. Were you doing that for a project or just no, for your just, own? Just, I said, you mind if I, you know, he said, no, go ahead. And he didn't mind, huh? I heard Sidney Poitier curse. Oh, you did? <laughs> which, of the, which of the many wonderful words? He used words? them all. He, was... he used them all. I was like, oh. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Tibbs. <laughs> hey, those mother... I was like, oh. We have a little surprise for you when we come back. And we're going to see a clip from uh, Denzel's new movie, The Tragedy of Macbeth, which is in uh, theaters and Apple TV Plus right now. Denzel Washington. We'll be right back. I will not yield. Kiss the ground before young Malcolm's feet and to be baited with a rabble's curse. Well, Burnham would be come to Dunsinane, and I'll oppose. Being not a woman born, yet I will try the last. Leon Macduff. And damn be him that first cries, old oh, enough. That is Denzel Washington and Corey Hawkins in the tragedy of Macbeth. And um, I have to be honest with you, I'm not like a, I'm, I'm not someone who knows anything about Shakespeare. And I was like, oh, I don't know what this is going to be. But I was totally, I, I was taken by this film. And it made me realize how much of what we see now, whether it be like Game of Thrones or The Sopranos, mm -hmm. like it's all right there. It's easy to follow. Forget the language. They done them wrong and he's going to get them back. It's so good. It's as simple as that. Yeah. They've done him wrong, and he's going to get him back. Yeah. That's all you well, need to know. He's not, 
He's not exactly in the clear on his own. Well, he, yeah, that, that part. But yeah, I, you know, this would be your um, tenth Oscar nomination. What? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's. <laughs> I like that that's news to you because I would have like, I could actually have like it written in chalk somewhere in my house. We're at nine, we I, gotta I, get I to ten. I actually do. You that, do, okay, that, good. That good. was the best performance <laughs> you've ever seen. Was it really? <laughs> By the way, speaking of great performances. I'm choking myself up here. There's a video from uh, 2017. I don't know if you guys have seen this. It's, uh, it has recirculated. It was a big video then and it came back again. You're in Chicago. And um, you were looking for like a barbecue place, right? Yeah, I was looking for where my cousins used to live. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we'll take a look. And, uh, and I see you on, on Jimmy, Jimmy, you and Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel and all that clowning up. Yeah, we was clowning, clowning and acting and up. Yeah. So What's up, little man? Know. You don't know who I am, but they'll tell you one day. Uh, What's yeah. your name? This is a uh, My name's Denzel. This is Denzel right. Washington. You tell your ass the big folk here. We go. We gonna watch him tonight. Y'all, y'all watch a movie. We gonna watch a movie. Don't Which one you gonna let him watch? Don't watch Training Day, then. <laughs> Don't watch that one. This is him. You going to Bob Pelican fight? That's right. <laughs> Shoot, go real. Go ahead. Go ahead. 23 hours. 24 hours. Wait, 23 hours lockdown. <laughs> you think you can do this to me? Don't <laughs> <laughs> let him go. She ain't gonna let me go. <laughs> That's, That's it, dog. Not so gonna small. let him go. That's my mom. She has got a hold of you. <laughs> So she would not let me go either. Her name, I don't know if you remember, is Juanita, and we tracked Juanita down, and in fact, she's with us right now. Hi, oh. Juanita. You should remember me. I'm wearing the same shirt, so I you could... would remember me. Me too. Then <laughs> <laughs> you look the same. Juanita, uh, hi. hi. It's Jimmy. I just wanted to say, uh, what, first I wanted to ask, you were 87 years old in that clip. How old, do you mind me asking, are you now? I am 91. 91 years old. You. you look incredible. Incredible. And 91, Juanita. acting like 19. <laughs> hey, acting like she's 19. <laughs> Juanita, what do you remember about that day when Denzel suddenly appeared <laughs> and you're at oh, your I home. remember that he came. I was only in my house to receive a refrigerator. Oh. And, but I couldn't. At the time, I was still waiting. Uh -huh. And I didn't leave in time because I saw this big truck drive up. And after he jumped out, well, he came out. I don't know. My daughter said, here, Denzel. I didn't leave her. And I don't know how he got up on the porch that quick. It was like an anger just flew up. And I jumped up, and, and when I knew anything, I was holding him, telling him I wasn't gonna let him go. <laughs> Were your friends jealous when they found out you had a visit from Denzel? Oh no, everyone was happy. Everyone was, happy. was so happy to see him. And what and was it like? And they are still calling me, asking me whenever I heard from him. I never heard from him since then. <laughs> but I, I'm thankful that I got in touch with him today. <laughs> you didn't give me your number. <laughs> You sent your son back to give me a kiss. I thought I didn't have time to give it to him because you was in a hurry. Right. <laughs> I thought you were looking for the barbecue place. Did you ever find the barbecue <laughs> place? Leon's Barbecue. How was it? They have, Leon has a new place now. So we all set free. They, they said that that Leon had heard about this story and decided to open a place. I don't know if that's because true. Because of that, Leon? I don't know. I don't know Is that true? That's what they told me, but I wasn't, I didn't make it to the opening. Okay. Um, all right, well, maybe Leon will send you something. <laughs> oh, that would be great. That would be great, yeah. <laughs> well, we just wanted he was to, supposed to... He was supposed to send Denzel four uh, gallons of, of uh, barbecue sauce and a case of ribs. He yeah. probably was still really? getting it now. Yeah, well, it sounds I'm like a lot sure of... I'm sure he get it now. Sounds to me like a lot of promises were broken. <laughs> <laughs> well, we but want... I still have my refrigerator. We... <laughs> and I still have them there. As long as the refrigerator showed up. Are you going to go see Denzel's new movies? He directed a journal for Jordan, which is in theaters and on demand, and he's in The Tragedy of Macbeth as well. Oh, yes, I'm waiting. I'm just waiting. Well, don't wait. They're out. I never miss his movies. I look at his movies over and over and over. <laughs>
I what? always watch his movies. Yeah, all right. Well, it's great to see you, and uh, thanks for mentioning me in the video, too. I, I appreciate it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and Denzel, keep safe and keep making movies. Thank all you, right. I'll be safe, too, and Juanita. And remember Mother Hubbard. I'll keep I making shows. It. Thank you, Juanita Hubbard, everybody. Denzel Washington, The Tragedy of Macbeth, and a journal for Jordan. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Good to see you. We'll be back with Hunter Schaefer. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Uh-oh. Oh. oh.